Hi and welcome along. Another little video, just a very short one, not going to keep you too long. This one is about radiators and specific types that can give you a real headache. Now the one thing that goes wrong with a lot of radiators isn't the fact that, well it is, the fact that some of them are manufactured badly and rust terribly quick. Uh, that's something else but I'm not going into that one today. What I want to talk about though is the bleed valves in some radiators and if you get those particular radiators you really are stuck with some trouble getting the bleed valves to come out when they start to get solid inside and won't undo. Now my favourite rad really is the rad that takes a half inch or 15 mil nipple in the end with the actual air screw into that because you can just change that whole fitting, just take it out of the radiator, put a new one in when the nipple for the air screw wears out. I'll show you what I mean on this one here. Here we have a typical steel rad. Okay, and you can see that this screws into the radiator. If this air screw here, the nipple started to corrode at all and not work anymore the key they kind of round off after a little while then you can unscrew the whole of this thing here and put a new one in with the nipple complete and you're good to go so it's a real good thing with the steel red type reds that i like what i don't like is the fact they do rust a bit but that's another question altogether that's another thing um but that is what i really like now what rad to avoid i'm going to show you the one you must not have because unfortunately I have one of those in my house but I'll take you there and show you it now so this is the one these are the ones to avoid like the plague now I know when you buy a rad you can't be sure where that air valve is going to be but you really got to avoid this type here because here we are it's a double radiator and the screw is there really awkward horrible place you can see where it's been leaking and dropping out of there it's almost rounded off i don't think i've got many turns left for this to work now if you think that's bad the other end of the radiator makes life even worse by having it around the front of there now getting a key in there and turning that is an absolute hellish situation <laughs> and one I hate. Now that one's nearly rounded off. I'm pretty certain I'm going to have to do this radiator next time. That any of the system needs draining and this one needs the air coming out because it's almost rounded off. So it's just a little word of advice when buying radiators. Do check the air screw where it is on the radiator because believe me when you get this type of thing and I've been to many houses where I've drained systems and found they've got these radiators and I can't get the screw undone uh, and I've had to end up saying to the tenant that, uh, that I've got to put a new radiator in there they go, what but there's nothing wrong with the old one I said well uh, yep yeah, there there kind of is <laughs> okay and that's it right there so that's always just a little quickie video for you just to remind you uh, to keep your eyes peeled on things like this when you buy certain items and this is one for radiators which you would never think to look at would you a radiator is a radiator isn't it <laughs> well not always okay that's it though from me uh, all my stuff you know where to go Derek and 33 thanks for watching guys bye bye